Now guys, it's almost the end of the month, which means we're gonna release ISOs. When we re release ISOs, we have a communication for you every month. So up here, we see some information release on the 3rd June. So almost there. And we'll have only the core ISOs these days, not the B ISOs. And we have a release article for you. That's gonna say, well, what's new or changed and June, well, May actually, right? And then um, it's gonna end with how to stay rolling, which is important for us. So that's this video, how to stay rolling or probably the next one, I'd rather have a look at this first. So two videos, what's new comes in here and how to stay rolling. I'll do that the next time, all right? So this is the minimum that you should check out each month. Have a look what changed to your operating system and what might be interesting for you as well. So what is new? If we scroll all the way up, this is going to be the what is new video. We have a Arch Linux change, archlinux.org. And maybe this, this surprises people, I don't know. But Arch Linux is our platform. We have Arch Linux uses 90% of the packages of Arch. So yes, this is the place to be. This is something you need to watch out for and read. And if there are changes, we need to follow them or change or well, do manual stuff and, and things like that. So there's a new pacman.conf and that's basically what we've done here. We said, okay, read the article there. All projects have been changed. Arch Linux is bigger than the Arch Linux ISOs. We have Carly, we have LCI, we have Verizon, all the apps. So anything where the pacman.conf goes inside, we need to change all of it. So in here, we've um, helped you migrate from one pacman.conf to the other with four videos because there is the Arch Linux 3 tool. There is also the AAG and the AA, so things to imp to click with a button and everything is, is set the way it should be set. But also manually, let's do this manually together. What did change? Let's go to the file and change it manually. So that's this article, which is uh, just a follow up of an Arch Linux news. We start at the beginning of May with the vibe. I want a program, right? I want to create an application. And the first thing first we did without Glade. So there are two possibilities. You go with a user interface that you program yourself, or you go with a GUI, a graphical user interface application called Glade, where you design things and you put buttons up here, pages, page one, page two, page three, and so on. So it's a little bit more divided. And that's this one. Um, gonna fix this title I see. Oh no, it's correct. Um, well, no, it's not correct. <laughs> this one is with Glade and that one is without Glade, right? So it's just to, the other way around. I'll fix it later on. And here you see everything is smashed together in one window and it's all aligned very meticulously because it's programmed, it's in the user interface, it's not with Glade. And well, both things are exactly the same. So the idea was first, let's build it. Let's see if I can do this. And then later on, let's do this with Glade. And how is it different? And I must say my preference goes to the Glade one, seeing that everything is more spacious, has more room, and is um, some kind of logic anyway, to divide it into three pages, which makes it more airy, more freedom. So that's that. We've been at it, I think, like two weeks or something like that. And all the information can be found here. You can see me struggle, but also you can see me search for solutions because solutions are out there. So that's um, the thing. Go and have a look. Google the way you should Google with technical terms and you'll find your information. So learn to build a Python app. How many? 86, oh my God, I have made 86 videos how to create the app. And I believe around 50 or something, we changed to Glade and that's where the switch happened. So we had to code and then we went for another GUI, another user interface. So it's um, 
an interesting bit, um, certainly because we can build our Arclix ISOs from it on anything. On Arch, we can build our ISOs on Endeavor OS, we can build it on Carly, on ALCI, we are platform independent, meaning it has to be Arch. <laughs> That's the dependency, right? There is always a dependency. Archcraft Reborn has awesome tests where we installed these Arch Links based systems. And they said, let's build the ISO. And that just works out of the box, which is fun, easy, and right. We can learn from it. So here, git migration completed. And also about the pacman.conf, some information, because it's it's all linked to each other. pacman.conf is the core file of your operating system. It needs to be correct. And here are all things about Glade and GTK. So where did I get my knowledge? Here, here, and it's probably a thank you for the, let's see here, the name. He's, is the he's alcoholic, <laughs> that, got it. No, it's not that one. It's not that one, but this is where I got my knowledge. Here is where I got my knowledge. This is going okay. to be the one. Okay, we're going to Our drunken try. alcoholic has helped me quite a bit because sometimes you get stuck and if you're all alone well you stay stuck until you find a solution simple as that so having the ability to ask some questions was tremendously helpful so all the knowledge the university is out there there is youtube there are tutorials there are uh, so many there's so many information i believe there's one here 62 right 62 videos all about gtk and glade and programming so please continue with your learning if you learned everything that you can from me keep going right just keep going keep programming and maybe someday you'll change your hobby into a job who knows but it's it's definitely worth uh, learning about it and there are structures that you need to know in any language so it's gonna be awesome for you so this is some information I got from the internet, plus our own videos, of course, and you'll get already uh, some idea what's important, how to do things and how to search for things, how to solve solutions, right? So learn from my mistakes, but also learn from my little victories, which is super unimportant, but because there are guys in our Arclix team who are, wow, right? I'm just the tip of the iceberg. These guys are the iceberg. Anyway, we learn every day and that's the point. Start programming, start learning. So that's enough speech, <laughs> but it was fun. And at this will, will be fun. If I get more ideas, we can add some stuff. But for now, the project is, is closed. We have to release articles and so many other things to do. So that's that. Here, so you see some images like on the other article. And that's that's it, right? So it's been a quiet month, so to speak. There were, of course, some, some updates and might be worth mentioning that you'll see a lot of updates come in. 23.06.01 or 02. And the only thing I did is actually make sure that, well, a cleanup, basically, cleanup of our repo so that the references that we use are well, okay, well, are not old or not forgotten or still needed. So some of the packages are have been deleted and that's fine, that's good. A yearly cleanup or a spring cleanup, as they say, is necessary to check are the packages still relevant because sometimes we leave packages in until people have installed newer ISOs and say, okay, let's keep it in so they don't see an error, but after a while it needs to go out and then you forget and a yearly cleanup is, is always interesting. So that's that. That's the only thing you'll probably be amazed. All 230601s, nothing changed, just a number. All right, that's it for now. And enjoy Connects, enjoy the learning. And I must admit, I do not say this often, maybe my third time ever in six years, but I do feel the need to ask this for, um, well, to be 
to continue our journey, let's call it like that, and continue our passion and our hobby to share knowledge with you, you might consider donating. Becoming a patron is, well, a failsafe for us because it's a monthly donation and we have, well, not the certainty, but the we hope you keep on uh, providing us monthly with one euro, two euro. It's enough, right? If 100 people do that, we have 100 euro or 200 euros. I mean, think about it. It's not, it's look at the time, 3,500 videos. Look about all the knowledge that we provide. If you are really using Arclinix or you jump chip and went to Arclinix, all good, right? It's the same thing for me. Um, then please support us if you're using our knowledge, if you're using our ISOs or if you're using Arch Linux ISO with some of our packages and config and so on. If you're able to, why not donate a few euros a month? All right. Cheers.